Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going over my November favorites. Um, I, <laughs> I feel really bad because I haven't been on YouTube for a really long time and it's just because I've been in this like creative funk. I haven't really known or um, had any really like ideas that were inspiring enough to me to like put out uh, quality content and I was filming but everything I filmed was just not that great um, and yeah so I apologize to you guys who are you know loyal subscribers and I've even received one comment that um, I guess she asked me what kind of like if a mascara is waterproof or not or if it's smudged and I didn't respond because YouTube is just a hobby of mine. This is not my job. I do have a full-time job for those of you who don't know and I am a mother of two. Um, I am, you know, doing all of the things that a mother and a wife would do and, you know, like maintaining a household, taking care of the children, taking care of the husband and also maintaining a full-time job. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to get that out there. I apologize if I do not get back to your comments in a timely matter, but excuse me but I promise that I do try to um, I uh, I want to apologize again to you that sweet girl who <laughs> left a comment I am sorry but um, I did respond to your comment eventually and we did have that communication so hey girl if you're watching <laughs> um, anyway so blah 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 back to my favorites okay so I have been accumulating quite a few products in the months of September, October, and November. I think it's been like a minute since I've put out a monthly get it or forget it. But um, yeah, let's start off with everyone's favorite makeup. Um, I have recently bought a couple of the ColourPop Matte Lippy lipsticks. And I know some of you guys are like, um, those are the same colors, but I assure you they are not, especially if you mix them, which is what I did today. I took the newest color that they came out with. This is Stingray. This is a collab that, um, that Ray did. I forgot her, her name, but I'll list it right here. Um, she's a really great YouTuber, super beautiful, really fun to watch, full of character. And this is just a really nice mauve tone. Uh, lipstick. I'll just swatch it for you guys right here. This is a really nice color. She created this color because she wanted a, a color, a shade that was universal, that everyone could wear, and this is definitely one of those colors. I did layer this lipstick on top of um, a Mimi lipstick, which I will be showing you guys shortly. This color it takes on different shades. Now, if you're in the shade, like, you know, under a tree or something, this shade definitely does look darker. Now, if you're in direct sunlight, like I am right now, the shade is beautiful. It's a very warm tone mauve color, and it does have deep undertones. Um, yeah, but I would definitely wear this day or night, summer or fall or winter. This is a great all year round color for many, many shades. And you can't beat ColourPop, they are all affordable shades. My next favorite is Beeper. This color right here, my eyes are just watering like effing crazy. So this is a shade Beeper. And it is a lighter mauve shade. It's right here. And this color is definitely something you could wear on the daily. Now I've noticed that in like fluorescent lighting or you know like lighting indoors basically, this shade does pull a little bit gray, which is fine with me. I love the color. I love how neutral it is and it is a great everyday color. So if you're into gray, neutral, mauve pinks, this is your color. And again, it's ColourPop, so it's like $6. Another shade that, for me, I don't wear this on my own, but this is a shade Trap. This is a really pale mauve color with gray undertones. Um, this shade is definitely too light for me to wear it alone, in my opinion, but it is really pretty when you pair it with Soar. If you're going for like a really like, um, I guess ombre kind of lip where you want to highlight the center of your lips, this is one of those colors that you could mix. So if you try this color trap 
with let's say like max night moth lip liner all over your lips and then put trap right in the center of your lips it makes for a really nice lip combo so give it a try let me know if you like it Another makeup favorite of mine, I guess this would be fall under your makeup favorites, is the Coco Lashes in 501. These are the lashes that I'm wearing today. They just give a really nice elongated effect to your lashes and here's a close-up. Again, these are I think maybe six dollars but definitely no more than ten. You can find these at LadyMoss.com. Um, yeah. And I have just been loving these lashes. I love the spiky effect. and. I just like the way they look, TBH. They just make your lashes look really long and I really like that. So that's what I've been going for. Another favorite that I have been just reaching for, I grabbed this during the Sephora VIB haul. Um, actually, Homegirl, Homegirl, yeah, hooked it up. She was like, we need to try it. Everyone's using it, so we should too. <laughs> um, but it is the Laura Mercier Translucent loose setting powder this powder is what i have been baking with now there is talc in this but they um advertise it as cashmere talc and i break out with talc um i yeah i i don't know if this is why i've been breaking out recently or if it's that time of month but i uh, i don't know i don't know I'm still on the fence about this, so I'll have to get back to you guys about that. Another favorite of mine is, I don't know if I've told you guys about this, but it's the NYX eyeshadow base, and this is the one in, I guess it, there's like a white one and then a skin toned one. And this stuff is pretty awesome for considering the price and it's drugstore. It really, really helps my eyeshadow not crease after wearing eyeshadow for like 12 plus hours. Even at work when I'm like starting to sweat, excuse me, and when my eyeshadow usually does crease, this stuff has prevented it from creasing. So definitely a get it for me. Other products that I have been loving is from Kiko. These are two of their, I don't know, I think these are like their water eyeshadows. I don't know why they're called water, maybe because they look like water. I don't know but they are powder these can be used wet or dry this is 200 and this is 208 and there they are so they this one has a bit of a pinky um, highlight to it this one definitely is gold a Kiko store just recently opened up next to me and this shade in 208 is supposed to be a whisper of guilt dupe these were definitely like eight to twelve dollars and don't quote me on that, but still for sure under the $20 price range, which is what MAC sells their highlights for. This is smaller, but like I've never hit pan on a highlight um, because they're so concentrated and this is no exception. Um, it is a highlight that I'm wearing today on my cheekbones, on the tip of my nose, and on my cupid's bow, and it gives a really beautiful reflection. And can't beat it for drugstore pricing. Another favorite that I have been loving is by The Balm. This is The Balm Desert Bronzer, but they, uh, let's see, they also advertise it as a bronzer blush. Now, this is what it looks like, and you guys are like, oh, it's just, you know, a bronzer, whatever. No one cares. Um, so if you hold it up next to their famous Bahama Mama Bronzer, which is a true I guess bronzer you could use that you could use these as um what am i trying to say <laughs> okay so this bronzer is great for contouring because it does have a gray undertone and this bronzer the bomb desert is great as a blush i wouldn't recommend using this as a bronzer because it does have a pink undertone and i'll just go ahead and swatch these for you guys right now i don't know if you're gonna be able to see these because Oh, definitely going to be able to see that. Okay, this color right here is the Balm Desert, and the color on top right here is Bahama Mama. So you can see that the Balm Desert is a bit pinkier. It is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today, and you can kind of see that it is that it does pull a little bit pinkier. So it is nice for a blush. I don't recommend using this as a bronzer because it would just look really silly I guess um, but also to apply 
my blush, my bronzer. I have been loving the Morphe 527. It is a dupe for the new MAC brush. I don't know which one it is, but I'll list it right here. Actually, this past Thanksgiving day-ish, like the day after Thanksgiving, I suggested that me and a couple of my girl family members go to the Morphe store and we all swooped up on this. I just put them, I put one in each of their bags and it's just a really great shape for like bronzing and bronzing your forehead and it's just, it makes it so effortless. It's so perfectly tapered, it's super soft and again, it's affordable. I think this brush was like $15, whereas the MAC brush is like 40 something dollars. So definitely, definitely get this brush. Another brush that I definitely recommend getting is the Morphe 501. This is a brush that I used. Um, this is a brush that I use for highlighting and that's basically what it's meant for. It fits perfectly into your cheekbone area. So like see that? It just boop 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 and you're done. <laughs> so yeah again Morphe is an affordable brand. I am not paid to say these things. I am not sponsored. I am not affiliated. I just love these brushes. And another favorite of mine is the Morphe. Oh my God, if I can get it open. This is one of their newest palettes. This is the Morphe 12S palette and it comes with 12 shimmery shades. And oh, hell no. Oh, God, it almost broke. And again, true to style, Morphe has made them very very pigmented and i'll just go ahead and swatch a couple for you here Woo! Another favorite that I have been loving is, is the Morphe 35K palette. So this is this palette, it just has every color that you're going to need on a daily basis. On the top two rows you have your really warm tone browns with like your shimmery colors. The third row has cool tone browns and like even a cool toned shimmery shade brown which is really nice and you have your blacks and your grays over here. To be honest, I bought this palette mostly for this section right here. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of grays and I just thought like this section and this bottom row is something that I needed to add and basically it was an excuse for me to get another palette. But yeah, also I love these shades, absolutely get a lot of use out of the first two rows and true to form, Morphe's eyeshadows are super, super pigmented and they just blend really well. Um, these palettes run for like $23, I believe. Again, there are codes that you can use from like popular YouTubers that have discount codes for like 10% off, which is basically like, you know, your tax. Um, and then, um, another favorite of mine, I haven't told you guys, I think I bought this palette, um, a while ago and it is the 35T. This palette is so beautiful. You guys know I am about a shimmery eyelid and this palette just delivers. You do get a couple matte shades which are really nice to you know blend out and use as your transition shade and then you have a ton, a ton of taupe tone shades and they are all super pigmented i love this palette um i reach for this maybe like three times a week and i've just been really enjoying that palette another lipstick that i have been loving is the mimi box i'm lipstick lipstick this is in the shade monica <laughs> um Mimi Box has sent me a couple products to review and to share with you guys. I am not affiliated. I make no money, no commission off of sharing these products with you. Um, they just send these products to me to review and this just happens to be a lipstick that I truly, truly appreciate. This is a lipstick. Um, this is in the shade Monica again. It is creamy. Ooh, that's super creamy. It is a cream lipstick. It is not matte, but if you guys appreciate 
lipsticks that are moisturizing, this lipstick is for you. Um, yeah, and this is just really comfortable to wear. I don't know how else to explain it to you. Sometimes using matte lipsticks on your lips just really, really like takes a toll. And on days where you just don't want to put matte lips on, this could be a shade for you. It is a really nice everyday pink shade and it is very, very moisturizing. I'll, I will link all of these products down below. Um, you can click on it if you want. You don't have to. They're there um, for quick access and that is it. Uh, yeah, so that completes my November. Oh my god, I can't believe it's December. My November get it or forget it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.